Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Um, I kind of wanted to do two things in this video. First of all, one, I've been working for the or working on this team for the past few days. Um, it's a team involving the Stark Lat and uh, my my new like my three new Dark Seedlers that I'm going to be using for PvP. Now, PvP just re reset. I didn't really um, do too much PvP last week, so I wasn't able to like climb really high. Um, I you know, I basically I didn't PvP at all, but uh, this week, after it's literally right after the reset, so if we basically just uh, refresh a few times, we will be able to hit a lot of like level, you know, full level 60 teams. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna try these try this team out against against these guys. Um, at the end of the video, I do have some announcements, um, some like channel update stuff that I wanted to wanted to talk to you guys about. I guess I can also talk about it a little bit after I. You know, go through the initial stuff about the the Seedler team. Um, so yeah, this this is uh, this is yeah, this is this is just the team. It's basically a Dark Lat and three Dark Seedlers. Now the Seedlers are gemmed basically just uh, two of them are on intuition. One of them's on a broken set. The last also on a broken set. Basically, I just went with crit rate double attack, pushed their crit rate to a hundred percent. So. Um, their stats are very very similar. They all have a hundred percent crit. Uh, they, I decided to make them like all variants just so they're all put together. Like they're around the same place. I can I can access them really quick. All four of them are put together in the same place. Now, I did a little bit of testing with this team, and I found that this team is actually easy. It, it seems really OP, but it's actually easily counterable. Now the, the types of teams that this this team will completely. Um, tear apart are like this team like this team for example we'll just we'll, we'll get demolished and if I go and I lose I'm just gonna I'm gonna stop recording and pretend this video never happened all right um, but yeah sealers do actually have a 15% bonus I think it's like it's like times 115 so basically they have like a 15% bonus in in, uh, in stats and stuff so like they're, they're a lot they're a lot more OP this month um, but I think even without the bonus, they're still very, very strong. Because even without the bonus, like two of them should be able to kill uh, like any, almost any tank unit uh, with just two attacks. So we're gonna try it on the uh, the Sea Star. We're gonna send two at them for the for the combo damage, and then she melts. Now they did hide a light Vic, so I'm going to yeah, I'm gonna have to take her down as well. <coughs> oh man, so close. Ooh, it's gonna be dangerous. Ah, oh, they stunned my lat. It's alright. I'm gonna take down this Vic. See if we can kill the Arthur in one shot. No, we can't. So we're gonna we're gonna send two at them. Now I decided to use the lat, not but not because I can't build the Mona. I already have the Dark Mona. But the, the thing is, like, if you uh, all of them are all fully skilled, by the way. But if you take a fully skilled Dark Lat, its first skill actually does more damage than the Mona. And for this team, it basically like. You need to win on the first turn. Like if you don't, if you don't win on the first turn, you're, you're fucked. Like if they somehow, uh, somehow don't, somehow survive the first turn. Ooh, this, this Leo is really tanky. Live through two hits. Um, if they somehow survive through the first turn, then you're gonna, you're gonna be in trouble. And my, my autoplay is just completely messed up right now. I'm, I'm gonna have to like click play. I'm gonna have to like click play each time. My autoplay is just, it's, it's funky. Yeah, so I, basically I chose to use the lat, um, because he, he does more damage on his first skill, because if you fully skill him up, um, he has a bonus, like, 20% damage, all, like, added together on his first skill, so, basically it does, like, more damage than, than the Mona. I only skill him to level 4, because the, um, the level 5 skill doesn't really do anything. It, it heals him a bit more, but if he gets hit, he's dead anyways. Like, any any of these guys get hit, they're dead anyway. So, uh, you you just go in and you, like, you make sure you kill two of them on first turn. And that's that's it. If you don't kill two on first turn, you're you're not going to win. <laughs> that's kind of how it works. Is my, my microphone, does it feel like it's too a little bit too loud? Let me uh, slightly turn it down a little bit. Alright, alright. Um, so yeah, they do have an aggressor, and I, I don't like aggressor, so we're gonna, we're gonna just take care of her really quick. Oh man, they do have a light valk as well, so we're gonna have to take care of her as well. 
Yeah, like a Mona might have not been able to kill kill it. I'm not too sure. With first skill. Alright, and it's it's alright if like one of you units dies on the second turn. So we're gonna we're gonna take down this uh Sura. We're gonna take down this wood valk. She didn't die. Now Light Succubus doesn't do too much damage, so we're just gonna ignore her. We'll just end her here. Now this team is very, very strong against these types of uh, like RGB teams, but they're a lot weaker against um, they're a lot weaker against teams with uh, that are, that are like mostly light. So th this team has like triple light. I think this is the, this is a team that might like counter counter mine because of how many light units they have. The, the way you counter this, uh, like this one's like almost full light. This one's like triple light as well. So we're, I, I'm gonna actually go go into these teams with the, with this. Um, this seems really OP on paper, but when you're fighting against like so many light units, the elemental edge kind of just cancels out. So you're better off using monsters like a Tito and stuff. Like their their elemental edge doesn't really do anything, um, and you you have to you're like in these fights you're forced to hit the light light units anyways. So their their bonus um, damage from the elemental edge doesn't really like it doesn't apply here. So th that's why I think light like a full light team or a mostly light team will will be able to counter the dark seethers, which I think like will bring bring all all the light teams, which they kind of are already in the meta because there's so many dark attackers. But uh, but I think I think light meta is coming back. You're gonna have to you have to go like f you're gonna have to go like pretty much full light on your uh like this Hana's gonna do crazy damage on because she's she's like a defense aggressor with an HP lead so we're gonna have to like take her down but I'm not even sure if two sealers can even kill her. Alright we did we did manage to take that down. Now I don't have any resist and the Shiva we're gonna we're just gonna have to hope that they don't kill me in one turn and we're gonna just take down the Sura. Oh shit. Oh shit this is bad All right, we're gonna have to kill the Shiva in the next turn. Okay, the Shiva is kind of squishy. Interesting. Uh, we'll, we'll take care of the Thor. The Thor, Thor actually has CC. He has a second skill. This is gonna do a little bit of damage, but you know Thor doesn't have too much attack, so we'll be able to take him down. All right, I think the problem is his Shiva was too squishy. That that Shiva shouldn't have died in one turn. Like this, this would have been trouble if uh, if the Shiva was still alive on the third turn. I wouldn't have been able to kill the Thor. And then like the Leo does this, and then the Thor shocks two turns shocks one of one of my Steelers. You know, they might have won. I'm not too I'm not sure. Um Man, why why does my autoplay not work? We can also try this team, but this team should be pretty easy. We're gonna try this uh this is another triple light team, but they do have one light attacker, so like this Leo's gonna melt in one turn. Um, but the Odin's like very very high threat, so I think like aggressors will like first skill aggression is uh, is pretty pretty threatening against against a team like this. Like light Odin is probably like top top tier now. I feel. All right, since the Leo is uh, an attacker, we're just gonna take him down. All right, he didn't die. I don't think I can kill the Leo in one turn, or the 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 uh, the Odin in one turn. So I'm actually just gonna kill the Vic first, just so I have like one less thing I have to deal with. Ooh, and my uh, my lat died. I might have to use three to kill this Odin, which I think might be worth. Oh my god, so close. It's fine. It's fine. Uh. The Leo, the, the Miho is actually higher threat, but I don't want the Cupid to shield up. So I'm gonna actually send two at him. Or oh, this Cupid's actually tankier than the Odin. Yeah, this this this, uh, this Miho is bad news. Good thing all three of us are still alive. If one of us died, it actually probably could have won him the fight, because um because the Miho would have had her AoE and it had it had the potential to kill both of them, maybe. Because they're 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 quite squishy. Let's 
was mostly mostly a uh, RGB color. This one's triple light. This one, like with an Odin lead, might be a lot of trouble for this team because their elemental edge really doesn't do anything to light units. Like you're better off using dark Monas or dark uh, Gatitos against teams like this because they they have like I mean uh, you know they do have skill books, but they're their base attack is a little bit lower than, than the Gatitos and stuff. Or even like a Dark Sarah would have would have done better. Because Dark Sarah has like 3,400 base. Or even if you just ran like four Dark Lats. It's, it's just because their Elemental Edge doesn't really do anything. But then again, Dark Lat doesn't really do anything either. Um... Now, because of I think because because of Odin's really high threat of potentially just one shotting one of my guys, I'm gonna have to kill her on first turn. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need three. I think this last should be enough. We'll just use the last. Alright, oh, it's an Arthur. It's a dirty Arthur hider. Maybe it's glass cannon. No, it's not. It's fine. Ugh, yes, kill the lot. End his miserable fate. We'll get, we'll get rid of the Cura, because I really don't want to deal with the CC. Let's see if I can land an armor break, but they probably have very, very high resist. Ooh, they don't have very high resist. Alright, so... I think I got lucky. I feel like I got lucky. I don't know. I feel like I got lucky that they all went and hit the lat. Like, the... Arthur could have shocked something, and then the two of them could have killed the lat, and then like... And then the Miho could have done damage to one of them. And then like, Arthur could have landed a stun, then I would only have two. And then they would still have the... The Kira, the uh... The Purse. And the... The Miho alive. I could have sent two the next turn to kill the Kira. And then it becomes two... It becomes, um... Then it becomes the Arthur versus Arthur plus Purse plus plus Odin, and then the Arthur sh stuns someone the next turn. Um, I only have like two units to use, and then like you know I kill the Arthur, but then next turn they they kill my uh, I kill the Arthur. I damage the Miho a little bit. Next turn Purse gets her gets her full bar. Does a does a shock, shocks my whole team and then I lose. Yeah, it's, it's probably not happening. I, I think the chance of that happening is a little bit lower. So maybe maybe this team is just really OP. Now this one I still I'm still forced to go hard on the Odin. Because of how much threat she has, but actually the birdie I think actually does might do more damage because it's a dark monster has higher base damage And if it crits It'll easily uh, kill one of my sealers. So I think I need to just kill the birdie on first turn and We're gonna send to um, on the Odin. I don't think this will kill It's very very close next turn. I'll send the lat on the Odin and then Okay, never mind Oh that that uh, this thing is bad news. I think it was, that was because of the 15% bonus damage. I was able able to kill the Miho with two. It was normally an HP lead. I don't think it would have been able to do it without the 15% bonus. Um, things this thing's gonna keep healing, but it doesn't really matter. We'll just we'll just kill the Granitas or the or the Pebble because it's uh it's gonna try to stun me. And then she doesn't have any threat anyways. So we'll just we'll just leave her for last. We're gonna have to do more testing against those full light teams. But I think if you have like a, a light team with like four uh, first skill aggression. So if you had like light John. Like if you had like two light Johns, light Odin lead, and then like two uh Two light Nikes, maybe. You might have been, like two super evolved light light Nikes. Oh wait, if you had an Odin lead with like four super evolved light Nikes, maybe maybe that would be the ultimate counter. 
But then again, someone having that is uh, the chances are a little bit low. We'll wait 30 seconds for the for the reset. Now I need to. I think I need to use a lot more light in my uh, my defense. You know. What if I? What if I use like a? Actually, it's not gonna work. It's still, it's still gonna die. Like it, it needs to be really tanky for it to work. Like they need to be light units, but they also need to be like insanely tanky. So they need to, it needs to be like Odin lead plus like. Yeah, it, it probably has to be like super evolved Nikes. So I think if you're like fusing light stones, you should probably fuse some light stones. I might after after getting my second Miho to uh, to Evo three. I'm probably gonna start working on light ones, and um, you know maybe maybe super evolve a light Nike when when it does come out because there there was already patch notes for her. I talk as if she actually exists, but she's she's coming soon. She's coming to counter all the dark seedlers. Uh, what's a what's a really strong counter? To this? All right, I'm gonna try this one. This one's Sura. This one has two CC and then like pretty high threat, so I think... But then the Sura is only level 50. Well, we'll pretend he's level 60 and then like I won't kill him first. I'll try to kill the Odin first and then see what happens, alright? Yeah, that, that actually might work. It's probably going to take two Sealers plus Lat to, to, to uh, take down the Odin. But actually it's crit lead. I might not need it. I'm going to try this out. Hmm, not enough damage. Ah, oh, it's another Arthur. Alright. 2cc is bad. Oh wait, it's glass cannon. It's dead. Um, okay, never mind then. I'll pretend he's level 60 and then I'll send 2 at him. Okay. Like, we'll, we'll pretend as if he was level 60. Because if he was level 60, I would have to send 2 at him. Oh shit, it's gonna nuke. Alright, alright, I might not survive this. I might actually just straight out die. Yeah, that, that could have actually worked. But then I made the mistake. I let the Shiva get a full bar. I could probably should have killed him first. To be to be perfectly honest. I think I know the counter now. I think I know the counter. Tanky units with uh yeah, just run four. Just just run all light Thors. I think that's it. Just run all light Thors. I think that that actually is the probably the best counter to this team because they're afraid of CC and because they're building high crit. But if they have high crit and high uh, high resist, and that's a different story. But you know, if they're mostly just building high crit, then you could just you could just CC the shit out of them, and they they can't do anything. We'll try this again, and we'll we'll do we'll do a similar strategy. Um, but this time, I'll I'll try to aim for the Shiva first. Like I would have won that if I just used one Sealer to kill the Sura, the other one to damage the Shiva. Next turn, I would have killed the Shiva. But we're gonna we're gonna pretend uh, we're gonna pretend this guy's level sixty, all right? But yeah, if they leave two awake, actually, I have the potential to. Oh no, it, it would still take two turns for him to get a full bar. So, so yeah, if I kill him first, there's no way, no way I lose. Um, is there a monster with double CC? Is there a light monster that has like CC on both their skills? And is like it, in, extremely tanky. I think I think that's the type of monster you need, like a really tanky monster that has some sort of CC on both their skills, even their uh, active one. Because you need to like, because if it's like Light Thor, it, it's super tanky. It has CC on his first skill, 
But once it uses its second skill, it's kind of useless. Like, it doesn't really do anything, so... You need, like, a light unit that has, like, CC on both their skills. Like, a really tanky light unit that has, like, double stun or double shock or something like that. But then again, they don't exist. I mean, this, this one has, like, one shock, but that's, that, that's it. There's no, uh, there's no double... There's no double stun, double shock. Seal, seal doesn't work. I feel like Thor is like the closest thing. Chloe. Chloe is not that good. There's no such monster. There's no there's no light unit with like CC on both their skills. That's like also a tank or defender type. Doesn't exist. Sura, this one has no CC. I mean she has the perfect skill set, but she's a she's an attacker. So she she doesn't work. She's kinda gimped. Monster doesn't exist. There's no such thing. Stun attack down. Doesn't doesn't really uh, doesn't really work. There's there's no such monster. It doesn't. There's there's no such thing. There there's CC on one skill, but then like. You could always aim for that one, and then remove the threat. Like, say for example, they run a team of mixed monsters. So like, um, so like for example, um, they have something that has CC on their second skill, like like a light purse. I mean, you know, all the people that have light purse, you know, they they have like a morale booster with a shock or, or maybe something with like a stronger morale boost like like Chloe um, not this, this is Akana where the hell is Chloe like like Chloe and then like you know she could she has a chance to get get a, her bar full in one turn but then and then you you pair her up with like two other monsters that have some sort of CC on their first skill like light Thor or something you know I could always I could always like hit the Thor first and if I see her bar getting full, or like on second turn or third turn, um, like on second turn if she if she's super lucky and she gets the hundred percent proc, then, you know I just send all my, all three sealers at, at her and then she dies. So it's not it's not gonna work. There's no there's no such monster like it doesn't exist. There's no monster with like a a sleep a stun or a shock on both their skills. Or even a petrify. I mean, there's her, but then she's an attacker, so even if you build her tanky, like if I see her, I would just kill her in one turn, so it's not, it's not really gonna work. You know, the, the kind of the only thing you could probably do is like you get a monster with CC on first skill that has like a low proc rate. Uh, like Light Thor, and then you you put him on Pugilist set. So if he gets his active off, he has a chance to like stun them, and then kind of win. I think like that's kind of the only way. Let's get some sort of like loss with first skill CC, and then just like just run them on Pugilist. Let's build them super tanky. Like just go like HP HP defense on Pugilist. I think I think it's the only way. Maybe stun attack down. Actually, wait, no, attack down is not gonna stop them. They're, they're still gonna rip you apart. <laughs> I don't think attack down will stop them. I don't think attack down will stop the dark sealers. We need to, we need to, uh, we need to address the sealer threat. Cause this is, this is what every attack team is gonna look like for the next little while. Maybe aggression on both skills, actually, and run them on Pugilist. That actually might be the best. 
But then, like, most HP aggressors have very, very bad effective HP. Like, Light Coco and Light John, their effective HP is really bad. So I think, like, only Light Nike would work. You need an HP lead, and then run Light Nike. Maybe run it on, like, a Pugilist set, and then have, like, very high, uh, HP subs. I think that's the only way. I think Shinobi's an attacker. Isn't he? Kind of bad. We're gonna have to get rid of this. So I'm gonna summon a Siegfried. What color is it? And it's red. All right, we're gonna have to send three sealers at the Odin. We're gonna have to uh, take care of the Odin. I actually don't feel like three Steelers the best thing. It actually might be better to actually run the Mona team and then run two Monas. This way they have the morale boost and has a chance to uh, to get a full bar. So like if they're the ones that aren't targeted, I can I can I can get my full bar and then win the fight if they're if they're all like super insanely tanky. Light units. That actually might work. This this one's interesting. This one's a normal team, but they're all like random colors. So they, they actually might have a chance to like triple stun me on first turn. Actually it's impossible because I, I would kill the Arthur like pretty fast. Even if uh because Fire Arthur's an attacker, so even if you build him full uh like even if he's evil three, you build him like full tank. I think Sealer plus Lat would just kill him. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna play it safe. I'm, I'm gonna use two sealers. Yeah, this is kind of GG. Next turn, I send one sealer at him because they have no heal. So just send one sealer at this, and then it's fucked. And then I send one sealer at this because he's gonna he, like the Leo has no threat. The other, uh, the Shiva has a chance to stun, and then they only have one stun left. So I basically I just send two at him. Yeah, you can't, you can't CC this team unless uh, unless you're using like some 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 sort of crazy. Uh... Actually, wait, light CC wouldn't even work because the the same exact thing that happened just now would happen to that as well. But maybe instead of running, I think Leo was the problem. Because instead of running the Leo, if it was like a light Thor or something. And it did a two-turn stun. I might have had some trouble with the Shiva, so that that actually might have been a might have been a potential counter. Ooh, this one this one's uh, mostly light and it has a Water Arthur. Maybe possibly on Pugilist. This guy's pretty high level. Yeah, I wanna I wanna play some more. Come on, let's do this. So this is pretty fun. Doing uh, doing some theory crafting today. Actually, I think the correct way to do play this is no. It's like it's always to kill the light Odin first. No way, I don't kill her. She has too much damage on her face for a skill. Ooh, this Indra's built tanky. I think this HP defense. Uh, yeah, then it does no damage, so... What, what, what was the point of that? We'll finish him off with a lot. We'll finish off the uh, the Water Arthur. Put some damage on this Shiva so I can kill him next turn. Yeah, it's GG. I don't think Shiva... Shiva's pretty... Gets wrecked pretty hard against the Seedlers, because... You know, even if they don't have Elemental Edge, they, they still do a shit ton of damage. They just rip through the tanks. I think you have to run four aggressors. I think that's the only way. You have to run four light aggressors. There's no uh, there's no other way. If you don't run four light aggressors, you're kind of fucked. <laughs> we might have to switch up the defense team a little. I might need to run a little bit more light on this.
I think this this should be fine for now. I mean, yeah, we're we're pretty fucked. Mm. This one's light incubus. It's probably gonna die in one turn. Oh, it is a th evil three. I don't even remember what incubus does. Oh, it, it's an attacker. Slash healer. It's basically kill him first turn, kill the sheep button, and win game. Miho doesn't do enough damage. I just want to test if he's like secretly full glass cannon build, but then he's not. You have to run five aggressors. Like, you have to run four, five light aggressors. I think it's the only way. Or else there's no counter to this shit. It's just, it's too OP. I mean, it does have the 15% bonus damage, but like, Mihos and stuff like these, they'll they'll still die in two, two attacks by the Dark Steelers. I just need to run like five light aggressors and put them all on Pugilist and hope it procs. I think that's the only way to win. Hmm, running dark attackers on defense. That is, uh, that is very, very interesting and very, very questionable at the same time. Wait, what? There's only one Mona. Uh, we're, we're going super ham on her face. That didn't work. So far, I only lost to that one Shiva AoE. But that's, that's not the team's fault. I made a wrong decision. And I would have won that if I didn't attack the Sura first. I, I guess I just kept... I wanted to keep treating that fight as if it was like... The Sura was level 60. Kana's a... Defense down, right? Um... Ooh. Yeah, no. We're gonna we're gonna take care of this one first. She has like very very high base attack. She actually survived that. She's actually built pretty tanky. You can't if you run any sort of attacker, the sealer's gonna kill that attacker in one turn. What? Oh, she actually survived. That's amazing. Actually, it doesn't matter who survives. You're not, you're not. If you take all four of these guys to the face, you're dead. You know what dark team has no counter? Wait, am I rank one? I am rank one. It's not gonna last very long. <laughs> It's because I refilled once and it's the beginning of the week. Um, Light Valk team? The thing is like Light Valk's a balance type. So she's actually not suitable because she's gonna get she's gonna get melted pretty fast. It's unfortunate these aren't evil three. I would actually go for some evil three ones instead. Let's try out the team in dungeons. I haven't tried them out in dungeons yet. Dragon's still up. Wait, I'm out of sigils. Alright, that's not gonna work. I mean, I already tried the sealers in B B10. Um, guess I can try them in B10. I don't have a better atta attacker. Oh, you know, you know what you can run. You can run like, run this. 
Just run like three Dark Sealers. This is a no. Oh, wait, actually, the, the Nike's on Siphon, so I guess it doesn't count. I imagine this would be a pretty stable team, because literally. <laughs> It would probably most of the time kill two things on first turn. Unless like all four of them attack the same unit. Um, pretty much anything's gonna die in one shot. So if you ru just run like light Nike and three three Dark Steelers, I think that would make a pretty stable V10 team. And I imagine this would be pretty fast too. Because they have like defense down for the, the, uh, the last boss. If he had just like one of them on Siphon. Oh man. Actually, wait, this could be really fast without Siphon. The problem is they, they might attack the side units on the on the boss stage, see? But once they because the golem doesn't do a lot of damage, because so once they put the like if one of them can put the defense down on the golem. Like, this is gonna do insane damage with like this turn. Just look at it. Oh man, look at that! They just, they just chunked him. And with this new synergy bonus, since you're running 3 dark, and uh... Yeah, you're running 3 dark. Should get the bonus. The, uh, the tanky bonus. This should be pretty, pretty fast. A minute forty-three. I mean, she has siphon, so I guess. I mean, even without siphon, it would still be around the same run time. But she didn't even get to use her AOE on the waves, so. I mean. Yeah, it's pretty OP. I think it's pretty OP. <laughs> I think it's really OP. Like... If you run the same thing on B8, they would just be one-shotting the wave as well. Same with B9. Yeah, if you don't have three Dark Sealers, get three Dark Sealers. Um, same with B7. They, you know what? They can actually form B7 pretty fast. I'm out of, uh, I'm out of energy. For dungeons, I would actually run a Dark Mona lead. And then three Dark Seedlers. Or any sort of other attack lead. I mean, you can run this team, because everybody has Nike, right? So, unless you fed yours away, then I, I don't know what to say. I, I really don't. Just, all I can say is rip. Yeah, these guys are only level 55, so they, they just melt. They, uh, they kind of just melt. Ooh. Hopefully the side units aren't too tanky in V7. I just thought I tried B7 because B7 is actually pretty tanky, but against the against the onslaught of Dark Sealers, probably not. Oh, nice! You put fatigue on me. You think they care? <laughs> oh man, this is uh, yeah, this is pretty broken. That's all I can say. If you don't, if you haven't rebirthed the Dark Sealers, I I, uh, I very very highly recommend you get one. This is this is not okay. This is very not okay. Two light attackers isn't gonna work. It's gonna get melted. Oh, this one, this one, this one, uh, this one looks pretty interesting. Ooh, this one, has, this guy's got three evolved Mihos. This one's got a lot of dark units. We'll try that after this this one. This one's got two uh he's got two light dark nat fives. I mean Odin counts, but Odin's free, so she doesn't really count. 
He's missing a variant Odin, or else he wouldn't have to run Dark Cupid. But then again, he has a variant Dark Cupid, which makes him like variant. Like Cupid is is pretty much as good as a light dark nat five. He's he's probably the most OP light dark nat four. Um, for this, yeah, this thing only has defense down. I'm kind of afraid of her being built uh, built with attack. So we're gonna actually send one unit to attack him after. I'll, I'll send the dark lad. Dark lad should be able to finish the Odin. There's a tiger. I'm gonna have to kill the tiger. Ooh, this guy's running all light, dark, nat fours and fives. Monkey's nothing to be afraid of. He doesn't really do anything. He's more of a counter against the aggressor comps. I think f four, five light aggressors is the way to go. Is the is the way to not get wrecked. Oh wait, I, did, did you guys notice I got a haircut? I shaved myself again. Oh, I'm ranked two. Someone beat me. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to catch up. All right, I'm, I'm only one point behind because I hit hit someone with like lower rank. That's not what it's about. This is quite interesting. He's got three uh, three evolved mihos. I mean, he's kind of probably doing it for collection purposes. I don't think this is going to be too strong. Oh, we need we need the release of uh, Light Nike Evo. It's, it's the only way to counter this. There's no other counter. This is too strong. What do I do? Wood one's an attacker, so we'll just, uh, we'll just take care of her. We'll send these two. Then I'll uh, put some damage on the, the dark one, so we can kill her next turn. Ooh, that was quite a bit of damage. Sneaky, sneaky guy. He put he put full attack on the dark uh, on the on the uh, the fire one. Very, very sneaky. I don't think this team would stand a chance. Nothing stands a chance. Unless they got like five Evo 3 Light Odins, like with like all Light Odin perfect lead. Maybe, yeah, like, yeah, that, that, that actually might counter this, but. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually have to switch things around. This is, uh, this is a little bit dangerous. Sorry, my, my Nikes are pretty decent, I think. You know, I'm gonna have to regen my Nikes. Take, take the Siphon set off them. Put them on a proper set. Where's my super evolved Miho? Alright, we'll, we'll hide that. Actually, wait, this is a bad idea. It shouldn't be like this. It should be like this. Now, wait, you guys can see my team. You guys know what's going on. You guys know what's going on. You're gonna tell my secrets to, to everybody else. All right, uh... I honestly don't think any of these teams stand a chance. Like, this one's probably got the best chance, but it's still not gonna work too well. This one's an attacker. Probably built somewhat tanky. 
see what pops up. I still have two seedlers ready. Then, uh, yeah, before Shiva gets a full bar, I put some damage on him. He's going to heal 20%. Next turn, I send, uh, like, two seedlers, one at him. And he's pretty much dead. Some damage on the Miho. Dark Miho actually does do a lot of damage, but they're... But I think using light is better, because it counters the, uh, the dark. I mean, dark monsters do more damage, but then these guys are using elemental edge. You can't counter all the teams. The teams that counter the aggressor teams can't counter the attack teams. And the attack- the ones that counter the attack teams... Actually could still counter the aggressor teams, now that I think about it. If you're running like five light, light aggressors, I think you might stand a chance against both. I think that's the meta. You just have to run five five light aggressors. It's uh, it's the only way. I need I need a variant Odin. I need a variant Odin in my life. Let's try the team in Starstones. Yeah, it's probably gonna rip through everything. run an attack lead. We'll just, we'll just run this. It's got like dark power, concentrated attack, and evil 2 power. It sucks that these three have no, uh, they, they have no gender, so they can't get the brotherhood or sisterhood, uh, bonus. I think a, a few days ago someone was like, I kept calling the sealers a he or a she, and then it's like, it's supposed to be the other way around, and I'm like... I don't know. I, I'm like, it's it. It's it. It's just it. I actually went through the description to look look and see if it says he or she on the sealer, but they always use plurals. They always use them or it. Actually, wait, no, they, they always use plurals. They always use, like, them. So you can go check all the Seedlers' uh, descriptions. They're, they're, uh, they're genderless. They're just flowers, alright? Now, why are all the flowers OP? Like, Dark Moon Flower. I feel like the Steelers are not as strong as Moonfar. Actually, no, no, they're, they're, they might be strong because of the skill books. I think the, the, the imbalance there is because of the skill books. Like, the skill books are too strong. Because uh, you can see them in dungeons. Like, in dungeons, they don't have the 15% bonus. And they're still doing, like, crazy, crazy damage. So, you know. I mean, they, they, just, they just wrecked that Starstone boss in, like, one turn. Probably do the same to the dark, dark boss as well. Forty-five seconds. All right, we can. Haven't been attacked yet. Man, I need to. I need to get some light units. Like, if I if I want to do some PVP, I need to. I need to get some light units. This is a. Uh, I mean, most people probably, at least all the top players, all have like three Dark Sealers, so, you know, that's that's a little bit worrying. Um, so probably have to have to get some more, build, build some light units. I really don't have much, I don't know what I can do. run a whole bunch of uh I mean I do have four light vix so I just I just run like an HP lead and like four light vix I think that actually might be the best thing I can do and then wait for the super evo to come see at times like these you wish you had like a light Hana and a light uh light Jean 
Coco is pretty good, but Coco is super squishy. Like, Coco is just insanely squishy. I think a Nike with, like, an Odin lead on, like, a life or protection set might be able to survive hits from two sealers. So then it forces them to have to use three on you. But a Coco, I don't think can survive two hits. Like, it doesn't matter how tanky you build it. It's, it's base defense is way too low. It's only got 1,700. I think Jean might do a little bit better because, uh... Oh wait, never mind. Hers, hers is super low as well. Alright, I think Nike's the only hope. Nike's our only hope. But we do have some other light aggressors that have something on their first skill. This one doesn't even this one doesn't have as good of effective HP as a Nike. But I guess it could work as well, because it's got it does have the aggression. Um, same with the Mari. The Mari has lower, like, H base HP is really low, so its effective HP isn't going to be as good. I think that's the only way. And then just, like, run all Pugilists on them. I think that's, that's, that's how we win. Man, Light Nightmare, Nightmare is starting to look really good right now. I need to Evil 3 my Odin. Somehow, I, th I think I need to run her. She's, she's also very, very good. Shiva, I feel like, is kind of going to get shit on these days. He's not he's not too good against the Steelers. They, they just do too much damage. They kill him way too fast. It's the skill books. I blame the skill books. Like, this one's an attacker. Man, they, they, they shit on the morale boosters. The morale boosters are getting wrecked. It's all about first skill now. All right, we'll we'll try uh, we'll try an another three fights. This one's got dark purse, but you know she's probably gonna die in two to one or two turns. This one's got two light units, light nightmare, but like who gives a shit? She's gonna melt anyways. I feel like there's no counter. I feel like uh, well, unless you're building like unless you're running like literally all light. I don't think you can counter it. I mean, this one's got like really, really good stats, right? It's like a super evolved and everything. But then it's still gonna get melted. Cause they have like no threat. These are stronger against like the aggressor comps. They have no HP lead. Ooh, nice. She actually has some nice sub stats. They actually survived. That resist. Alright, this is so GG. Hmm, always short a little bit of damage. Interesting. Maybe if they had an HP lead, it would be able to do something. I'm not too sure. Yeah, if it was the Cupid lead... Actually, no. It, it still would, would have the same results. Like, these Battle Rush morale boosters, I feel like, don't really do anything. They, they don't provide any sort of immediate threat. I'm probably just gonna... Like, I can, I can probably do this. Let's kill Shiva. Actually, I don't need to kill any of them. I just need to bring them low. So I'll like send two at Shiva, send two at Purse. Hopefully he doesn't die in one turn. Let's go like this. And then next turn I just like kill kill each of them. So like this one got sealed, but it doesn't really matter. And then it's a Wood Indra. Wait, what, what does Wood Indra do? Well, let's kill the Shiva first. It's still three on three. I don't. I really don't even know what the wood Indra does. 
Well, uh, we'll take care of him first. So we'll take care of the Nightmare, because she's, she's probably built with a little more, more HP. Because of her heal with her second skill. But they already have no threat, so... It's basically like... It's basically like this at this point. Mm, nice attack now. This is actually not bad. I, I made the mistake. I shouldn't have went for the Nightmare. I should have just killed the Leo because I had a full bar. I mean, the result's kind of the same. Mm. Yeah, Loki's not going to do too much. I think you're going to have to run like all, all Light Aggressors. Maybe, maybe I should start fusing Nikes and start building Nikes. Let's get them all gemmed up to uh, defend myself against the Steeler threat, because this... Because shit's about to go down, alright? Shit's about to go down. Uh, what is this? I mean, they have like two evil twos. I don't think, I don't think it's going to work too well. Spark it. Alright, this is the last fight. We, we we don't have any like I don't th I don't think anybody's prepared for the, the Steedler threat, but I'm gonna I'm gonna have to start preparing now if I wanna do PvP properly. I'm gonna have to uh get some light aggressors. Just run like four light Nikes. It's it's like your only hope. Actually wait, now that I think about it, it's it's uh it's poetic almost, because instead of Nikes you could you could run Steedlers. So you run light sealers to counter the dark sealers. That's that's what you do. That's that's what everybody's gonna do now. Like you should gather some light sealers to counter the dark sealers. If you don't have a whole bunch of Nikes, just get a whole bunch of sealers, and then you run the light sealers to counter the dark sealers. I think that's the uh, that's the plan now for most people. Amphibian. Ooh, this one's built with like. I think it's only got one slot HP or something. Alright, never mind. We're, we're gonna... We're gonna have to take care of this Arthur first. No matter what. Uh, I'll do this. I'm gonna take care of the Spark yet. Actually, wait, it's just got a team on all boost. It has no threat. The meta isn't prepared. They're not prepared for the invasion of the Seedlers. Sorry, I better start preparing. Um, light Seedlers are easier to build than Light Nikes, but I feel like Night Light Nike is slightly stronger. And that is that is the end. That is, there's no more. I'm currently rank one, but this uh, this Japanese guy is about to catch up, so. I'll let him catch up because I'm not I'm not willing to remain rank one. The holy gleam ain't worth that much. Uh, but yeah, now what? Uh, actually, wait. Let's let's go back and take a look at some light monsters. What can I run as a lead? I think I I think my best hope is I I just run light succubus lead. Actually, wait, my leader doesn't even have to be a light monster. It has to be an aggressor. But I feel like if I run light, if I run Dark Cupid, <laughs> it's never gonna get his bar full. Like, he's never gonna get a chance to have his bar full, because the fights will the fights will be so fast, basically. Like it has to be a light Odin lead, I feel. I need a variant Odin. That's what I need in life. Run a light siren for the uh, for the the super defense lead. Is that a thing?
Oh, what, what else has a defense? Because she actually has morale boost. But then the sealers could probably still shred through the shields pretty easy. Actually, it might work. It, it just might work. I run her lead, and then I just run like four light Nikes. Do I even have four light Nikes? My memory is not. I have two already built, so I just need to like look for two more. If I don't have a light Nike, I'll, I'll replace it with a light sealer. Oh wait, no, I have three more. Never mind. We're gonna we're gonna go through some uh, some Nike fusion. Are there any other monsters with light defense lead? Is there a Nat Five that has like a PVP light defense lead or a PVP defense lead? Battle rush stun. 40%. Hmm. Hmm. Oh wait, Sarah. Sarah has a defense lead. Sarah's not very good for uh for defense. Yeah, Incubus is not really gonna work. I think Thor could work, possibly. Just run light Thor. Light Thor lead. It's it's too bad I don't have a light Thor. Run light Thor lead and like three uh four light Nikes. I think I think that's the way to go. It's the only way to survive the threat. It's the only way to survive the Seedler invasion. Who's this lead? She's not very good. Hmm. I do have a Loki. The Loki doesn't do shit. Tito doesn't can't really do anything. I mean Succubus Succubus doesn't do anything either. <laughs> oh we need a we need a no, this guy's gonna get melted. I feel like it has to be Odin lead. It has to just... I, you just need a very Odin. If, you're, if you don't have a very Odin, you're kind of fucked. I, I need a very Odin. That's what I need in life. Yeah, it has to be a very Odin. I think, I think she's the only one that fits perfectly. But I don't know, like, maybe... Maybe if I run a Nike on like protection set and just stack so much defense that she does crazy amounts of damage and then just go with a defense lead, two sealers still might not be able to. I basically what I what I'm trying to push is I need to push her um push her to be tanky enough. So that wait, this one doesn't have any resist because it's on siphon. I'm probably gonna have to switch both their gem sets around. Um basically I need to push their uh their defense so high that it it like basically mitigates the damage so it makes it so like they can survive just two hits from the sealers if they can survive two hits from the sealers it forces them to have to use three three sealers to kill one nike which means it's trouble for them because even if they kill one nike i'm gonna have two i'm gonna have three nikes alive on second turn and uh and shit will go down like shit will definitely go down Dang it, why is it, why is there no defense aggressor with defense lead? That would be so OP. If there was a defense aggressor with defense lead. Hmm, Light Siren actually might be my best bet. Cause then she brings sustain to the fight. I feel like sustain is not really gonna help at all. No, I, I lose one extra threat if I bring her. It has to be... I think it has to be the Odin. What if... What if it's a, it's a CC? Yeah, Thor would have been perfect too. I was thinking, what if it was a CC on first skill? 
So then even though it doesn't provide the threat in, a, in the way that an aggressor would, it still might stun the, the enemy unit on turn 1. And then that that in itself is a is is a sort sort of threat, right? Man, how I wish I had a light Thor. Wait, I don't even have a variant Thor. Um, somehow magically got another ticket from so much talking. Let's see, if there's another full light team. All right, this one. L look at this. This is like all light. This one's all oh wait, this one has more light. This one's this one's got even more light. This one's got Thor. And it's got three aggressors. Alright, I think this one. This one is the uh this one's probably the hardest one. We're gonna have to face yet. It's got three threat. The Shiva's the only one that's not that threatening. I'm gonna try this out. Alright, since this John's I mean, like, it's got a defense lead, right? But she's still so squishy that she's taking this much damage. And then, I mean... Alright, this is a Nike on a defense lead. I feel like she still can't survive these two. Hmm... I think I need to make a cheese comp. I feel like it's the only way to win. We're gonna have to kill this Shiva next turn. It's gonna get a full bar. They're gonna all kill this Seedler. It'll still be fine. Oh my god, I didn't die. But the Miho doesn't have a full bar right now either. And they didn't land the shock, so. Oh shit, she got a full bar? I, I might be in trouble. Wait, I might still lose. Ooh. If it shocks me, I'm I'm I lost. If it shocks me this turn, I lose. Ooh. Ooh, that, that was uh this yeah, this one was the hardest comp yet. You need to run full light. You have to run full light against this. Like, if you don't run full light, you just, you lose. See, it does, it does work. Maybe I made a mistake. Maybe I should have left him alive another turn, because he doesn't have that much threat. And then just kill the Thor or something. On that turn, on the turn where I when I killed the Shiva, I should have killed the Thor, so he couldn't shock. Maybe I don't know. We'll never know because I'm out of tickets, so it, it could have been my mistake. It might not not be the team's fault. You know, sometimes I do stupid things. Can't blame the Seedlers for my mistake. All right, so that's that's it. That's uh. So for the Seedler comp, uh, I, I did mention that I was going to talk about something at the end of the video, but it's like, it's an hour, so I'll probably make a channel update video um, talking about a few things. No, fuck it, I'm going to talk about it right now. We're going we're gonna to go auto some, some shit while I, while I talk. Um, so yeah, I was, I was thinking of starting a uh, like social media. I was thinking of starting social media pages for um, starting social media pages for like the, for like myself, just like fantasy. Um, mostly like Instagram and Facebook and Twitter because I can bind the three together. So if I post on one, all three of them post. So I don't have to like manage three three. Uh, social media accounts at the same time. I basically I only have to manage one, which is perfect, you know, it's it's pretty good. Um, and I'm what I'm planning to post is like I don't know, like I share a lot of stuff on Discord and someone uh, told me that it would be a really good idea if I just like if I just shared that with like more people. Cause I, I share it sometimes it's, it's like anime art, although most of it's pretty lewd. 
Um, so I, I probably can't share that on Instagram. Um, you know, I have to be a little bit more tame on social media. It's not like a private Discord. Uh, but I can share, I can share really memey shit. Like I, I do share really meme shit on, on Discord as well. Really, really, really dumb shit that people might find funny. Uh, yeah, so I thought of making a social media for that. Uh, and just things things I think you guys might enjoy. So I, uh, I'll, I'll do that. You know, I already have like the Facebook and the Twitter, but I don't really use it. But now I'm gonna like revamp it. I'm gonna set it up. So if you haven't like followed me, um, go follow me. Uh, the second thing is like, you know, you know, I have a, I have an official sponsor. All right, it's a, it's, a, it's an official sponsor. Um, the reason, the reason why I'm, why I'm doing this is because uh, it's, it's technically me. It's just me. All right, like I'm my own sponsor. That's that's kind of how it works. But yeah, the the store um, Momoi Anime, if you guys don't know, is actually made by me, and uh, we. Uh, yeah, I, I basically I, I I just I made an anime store um, that sells like anime stuff. If you guys don't know, so like you can you can go there and buy things, and um, I'm probably like someone convinced me that I should probably market a lot more. Like if I if I just shout myself out at the at the end of each video, it would it, it would definitely help a lot. So I thought that would actually be pretty cool as well. Just uh, you know, just, just go full sell out. But then again, I'm not really selling out because I'm not selling out to anyone. I'm more. I, I'm. I'm like. I'm like buying myself. So I like. I bought in. Um, it's like it's kind of the opposite. But yeah, the I think the eventual plan of um, making the anime store is I want to do like I want to make content related to anime as well. So I'm. I'm kind of like using that. As kind of like the lifeblood of, of like this uh, second, I guess it's like an anime channel. Um, I also have like blogs, but the blogs will mostly be kind of about the same content as as the videos. Um, and then, and then I'll I'll start doing that. But that probably won't happen till maybe you know if it's still a few weeks because I still need to I still have some some things I need to set up for the store. So I need to like make sure everything's everything's already uh, good and uh, proper. Oh shit! I almost failed with this. All right, this team's not very stable. I need to make sure everything's like properly set up and everything before I can, uh, and then have it like kind of run by itself. Then I can start making like content and stuff. So uh, once I do that, I'll, I'll announce. And if you guys are interested. You know, if you guys are weebs, you can uh, you can join me. That's that's just that's some of the announcements I wanted to make. But yeah, fo follow follow my social media. Um, I think mostly Instagram. I, I mostly want to post images, like just meme -y shit or like just really nice anime art or like maybe it's really lewd. Um, just like borderline. So I I just just so I don't get banned. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So yeah, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video, and thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.